Hello guys! Welcome back back to my channel! This is Cherry from Cherry Beauty Sup. Hello everyone! Hello, hello, hello guys! And um, oh my goodness. Whew, I'm sorry, I'm wearing my robe because I'm filming and I just finished filming. If you wanna know this makeup look, this is my Julia Caesar um, video. So for today guys, I am not doing makeup because I already have makeup on my face. But today is a different one. It is um, a tag video that has been going on and um, beauty community work, beauty community world. I have to like inhale, exhale, <laughs> just kidding. So um, uh, I saw this, a lot of people are doing it and they're tagging Emily Noel for this um, palette tag. But I guess um, uh, Samantha and Ali is the one creating this fun video. So um, we're gonna, t we, I, actually, I will talk about um, palette tag. And um, if you don't know guys, one of my favorite makeup is palette like i have a bunch of palette the last time i count my palette is like 60 plus but no i did not use all of them okay i still have uh, maybe half of it that i did not use it like i try my very very best to use um if i open them like to reuse it so yeah let's dive in okay guys so for the first one it says show your newest palette so <laughs> so this is my newest palette oh my goodness i know it's like a so shimmery this is by dominic cosmetics and it is a very very big palette let me open it up and um this is rustic glam by dominic cosmetics so this is new i got it from epsi and um, it has a mirror and this is the color still have the plastic let me get the plastic so you can see the color so that is the color so i got this palette from epsi add-on so um like 50 percent when I saw it, it's like, yes, I want some Dominic. I have a Dominic before palette, but um, I think I gave it away because I don't like, it feels like it doesn't have a pigment. So I'm really hoping that this one, this one is has a good pigment, like cross finger, <laughs> please. So um, the next would be the oldest of, oldest palette, I think. So I'm like, um, I have a list here, so I know which one is next. So I guess it is the oldest. So this is my oldest palette, the Naked Urban Decay. This is the first Naked. And um, this one, um, my husband's gift to me. I, I think I we already talked about this, um, mok, the mukbang I have with my husband. And we'll talk about the, is it mukbang? Or what video is that I'm talking about this one yeah I think mukbang we have a mukbang so this is the color guys I know this is like um he got this one when our I think 2011 or 12 12 I think maybe 11 or 12 either way I'm not using this anymore I just keep this palette because um it's my husband gift to me and this is the first palette that I got that is expensive I think so yeah so I'm gonna keep it and no <laughs> I'm not gonna use it anymore so um, the next one is most expensive palette and I think this is the the most expensive I got the Natasha Denona gold palette and um it's my favorite like favorite yep i always use this whenever there's like um a big event like a party christmas party and if you are watching my 2019 uh favorite 
makeup 2019 i include this one and if you want to know how much this one you can search google it and how much is that so yeah so yeah i i love this one and i have another one of this the lila palette and i did not um use it yet i didn't touch it yet because um uh i'm just waiting for the time or the look that i'm thinking to do it so yeah so the next one is the cheapest palette i think this is it i i um choose the take me back to brazil by um bh cosmetics because um it is cheap and then um i i always used it whenever i want it has a it has a mirror and this is the this is the, the palette and um if i want like what is this like like a uh, colorful or um i know this palette is not really like really good pigmented like the rest of my palette but whenever i want like colorful i just um i just like reach out for this palette so yeah i have I have few palettes that is cheap, cheap one, not expensive. Why like saying it like sound like a different? <laughs> but um, I don't usually reach out for them. But this one, yeah, if I want like colorful, and I think you. So um, what is this? Uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> like um, makeup look that I use that take me back to Brazil um palette so let's go to the next one okay for our affordable affordable no we already have the affordable palette so everyday palette so i choose this crown because uh, look i uh, this one um, I choose this one because I think before whenever I want to go like grocery shopping and I'm too lazy or want to go somewhere grocery shopping yeah or just a quick um, what is this a quick window shopping in the mall or buying something very quick I just um, choose like one color in this palette and then um, the darkest one one of these two I just have like what like a liner and mascara and that's it so before this is like my everyday if i want um what is this like very quick eyeshadow i reach out for this one because crown has a good i i love the pigment it's, it's easy it's easy to work in your eyes so um the next one is the colorful eyeshadow so the most colorful palette i actually have a lot of most colorful palette i have i don't know how many but i have most of jeffrey jeffrey star palette they're very colorful but i choose this one the joe breaker let me open it guys i did not use it yet uh i've been thinking about want to use this the what is that my pink monochromatic video i want to use this one but i'm thinking it was like mm, no you have to use what is already open so it's like i'm trying to like okay maybe next time but this is the palette guys um i choose this one because it has it has all the colors that you need it has pink it has yellow blue red so it has colorful but um yeah most of jeffree star the reason i love jeffree star palette is because it's very colorful if i want like colorful um look i just like look at his palette and like okay that's the one i'm, I'm gonna do uh yeah so because most of the palette i don't know why they are not very adventurous they maybe they think that it's like oh uh, i know a lot of people wanted like uh, just a simple eye look like smoky eyes or everyday look but for the people like me <laughs> for the people of some of our friends here that loves colorful 
eyeshadow uh, try to invest I know they're not a cheap palette the Jeffree Star um, it's up to you but uh, I recommend his palette it's very colorful and uh, the pigment is there you like I'm not saying that it's like very very good perfect a hundred I'm not saying that it has flaws and it has you know it has a good in floss also so it's up to you research what what kind of palette you are looking for so the next one would be my smallest palette actually I have another one but um, I think this is my smallest one the Huda Beauty uh, Ruby Obsession so this is the Huda palette and this is the color so it has three six seven eight nine it has nine colors and I think my slick also is small but I think this is the small this the smallest one because the slick is longer yeah so this is my smallest palette and I don't know about this one it's it's hard I used it last year oh my god the last time I used this is last year well yeah I I think so I think it's last year I'm not sure now but I know that I remember the last time I used this only one time maybe I will give it a try but I'm not really happy with the big man it's like what's up with this Huda I do have three palette more of Huda that I did not use it the desert dust the the rose the rose whatever is that in the nude and I did not open it I said looks so beautiful there you go again yep I don't know if the packaging and the color skip uh, the color you know it's a very beautiful it's like I don't want to touch it but um, okay I think I have more I'll be back so I have the smallest I'm sorry like ah I have the smallest palette and I do have the biggest palette actually I have two the other one is the James Charles they're like the same size of this one but um, I choose this one too the dare to create 39 a and this is the first I think the first Morphe palette that I have and when I got it before oh my goodness it's so beautiful and I think it was James Charles that um, talking about this palette or he is the ambassador of this palette before correct me if I'm wrong um, yeah so when I saw this and then um, I'm loving it it's like mostly every day before no not every day I don't wear makeup every day I only wear makeup when I'm filming when on the weekends when I go somewhere that's the only time I uh wear makeup i don't wear makeup at, at work it's just it's just weird <laughs> because uh i work in preschool and um you know kids are like why you have makeup <laughs> why you have lipstick it was like uh, hey yeah uh, like okay so i only wear makeup at in the workplace or in the school where i'm working if there is uh what is this a class picture of course you want to be beautiful in the class picture right <laughs> so yeah okay the next one is the your palette with the best memory of course i will choose the naked urban decay because my husband bought this for me and this is the first time i have like expensive palette and um, you can see that I've been like using it like I've been loving this one and I think of mm, yeah yeah I've been loving it and this I remember that I don't know how to use it so oh my goodness I'm glad I don't take a lot of selfies before and I don't post it on Facebook so I don't know my makeup before <laughs> When it comes to makeup, I uh, I would say like I'm a late bloomer. I just started loving makeup. Yeah, I would say like two or three years. I would say four, maybe three, four years. 
I'm not sure, but yeah, I am a late bloomer and um, I don't know how I used this palette before. So yeah, maybe if I'm I have I'm gonna be brave and and I will use this again. Let's see what it come up. I don't know. <laughs> so like I don't know. Uh, I'm scared of like touching that and put it in my eyes right now. It's just it's just that long time ago. So the palette that worth the hype is for me is conspiracy i'm sorry i have like how many one i have like three jeffree star palette in this video and i'm sorry i'm not being biased it's just for me it's worth the hype the conspiracy i don't know a lot of people are having mixed emotion like you like it or not i don't know but i am using some of this palette and um it yeah i i love the pigment except 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 this one the tri the trisha trisha yeah the trisha when i use the pink monochromatic and i put it in the middle here in the middle it stained it stained for two days <laughs> so if you are planning to use this one the trisha in your eyes don't go anywhere stay home maybe you can use it on friday and then you go to work on monday in two days they're gone but if you are planning to go to the work the next day put some makeup on because it would stain your eyes yep <laughs> since we are talk talking about the worth the hype we are talk we are gonna talk about not worth the hype and that is jeffree star this is not worth the hype or I'm not sure if this is worth the hype before I'm not sure but a lot of people are talking about this before it's like oh it's Jeffree Star's palette blah 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 and then I know it's like a lot of people are hating it and loving it I'm not sure but for me it's not worth the hype because I love the packaging though they're all pink I love you know me I love something <laughs> so yeah it has a big mirror like I don't mind I use it but this one here it's so chalky chalk you know a chalky it's um I try because when I do the monochromatic the pink monochromatic I practice a different palette I use different palette you know twick twerk and twerk like twist whatever what twist twerky twerk oh my god what I'm talking about I'm not sure so yeah and then when I used it and put it in my eyes it's like it's very chalky like here let me let me get this it's called two T-O T-O and it's supposed to be like a shimmery shadow and look at this I don't know it looks beautiful on the when I when I do the swatch but I don't know if you can see that like hello where are you but um yeah it doesn't like when I use it's like um um yeah it is Murphy <laughs> I'm just kidding I know Murphy has a you know it has a ups and down when it comes to products but I would say some shadow is good some shadow is not you have to like work 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 but when it comes to makeup even if it's not expensive and if it's not a really good pigment then all you have to do just pack them or just blend 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 but this one is not worth the hype yeah okay the next one is palette your favorite palette from your favorite brand and this is modern renaissance abh anastasia beverly hills and oh my gee this is the first time this is the first palette I got from ABH. I'm gonna call it ABH. And you know what? My favorite, my favorite palette. This is a palette that like, okay, this is good. And 
When I got this one, I fell in love with the modern renaissance and I fell in love with the ABH palette. So I think this is like my, yeah, this is my first ABH. And after that, I keep buying and buying and buying of my of ABH palette. Well, I'll stop. I already stopped already. <laughs> I already stopped buying it. But mostly, mostly ABH palette, I always, always like whenever they have a new palette, it's like whenever there's sale, 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 I always got like one or two palettes from ABH. I love ABH palette. It's like, it's like they're very good, pigmented. I love it. So we're almost done, guys. And for our last palette tag is the show your most used palette. I would say my Dream Street by Color Pop. This is Kathleen Light's. Um, what is this? Collaboration with Color Pop. And I would say. I know it doesn't look like a lot maybe this is so but this one here is like I it looks like I'm hitting the pad I think this this one and the the naked palette they're like the same I know they're not look like I don't know what do you think guys yeah like before this is like my my jam <laughs> i always always use this um dream street ca um, palette by uh color pop by kathleen lights because i love kathleen lights i've been watching her and she's the only only constant youtubers that is like you know million subscribers that i that i love to watch so what i discover about this tag palette is dang i have a lot of palette oh amaji like i said the last time that i count my palette it was maybe five months ago that i count i'm not sure when it's the last time it was 60 plus and like oh girl you have a lot of palette and i don't think you're gonna use it all so that's why I'm trying to do my very best to like repeat them, reuse them again. And um, I have a system now. What I do is whenever I'm done with a palette, or I would picture them here in my YouTube, I put them in the box, the plastic, you know, the container. If you are watching the what is this, the um, the Amazon um, haul, the container there. So I put it there so I separate them so yeah and then I'm gonna use some of the pad that is already opened and then I'm gonna feature here in my YouTube then I'm gonna you know do it again and then um, uh, maybe I could use most of my palette but I don't think I will use them and um, they said like is the palette gonna uh, what is this expired of course they do but I don't yeah they're like six months six months one year girl they just want you to buy a new palette as long as the palette it's still used it still have a pigment it still have a good blend girl use it as long as your eyes is not itchy so if you are using the palette and the next day your eyes itchy then it means it expired already don't use it again yep <laughs> so i think that's it for our palette tag guys i don't know if you like this video but i um yeah it's like i'm, I'm doing a reminence reminence reminiscence reminisce uh, reminisce reminiscence i don't know a reminisce yeah of my palette and um i hope you like it guys and i appreciate appreciate you watching this tag i know this is gonna be 1000 letter letter later but yeah i hope you are fine okay and always remember that there's always someone who loves you Hello, guys.